morning guys, we're starting off today to vlog in Coolville Hut, uh, it's in Long Plain. Just about 15 minutes down the road yeah. from where we camped, not far at all. From Long Plain Campground. Yeah, it is another campground here yeah. too, which looks just as beautiful. Yeah, it's really <laughs> nice. And again, like lots of big horse yards and stuff. Yeah. A lot of, actually like a couple of trucks and stuff here with heaps of horses that are just grazing in the little um, paddocks that they've got fenced off. Yeah. About. yeah. 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 So this hut is gorgeous, we love it, but once again, surprise, surprise. <laughs> um, quite a big one, but it, yeah, there's a lot of information about how it was restored and everything. Um, so it's really good when they leave like old photos and all the information for you to read about. Because this one was pretty much destroyed in 1986, I believe it was. Um, it pretty much, it was down to the ground, the whole thing. <laughs> a tree fell on it, there was a fire, yeah, a whole lot happened to everything. it. <laughs> and they pretty much rebuilt it and back to what it would have looked like. Yeah. And it's, if you didn't know, you would think it's still pretty much how it was. Yeah. Like they, they do a really good job of restoring it, still make it look old and in original like conditions. Yeah, there. and I guess it's already 40 years old again since they, yeah, true. Since they fixed <laughs> it up as well. So. Yeah, but um, the groups yeah. that look after them and do the restorations, just like hats off to them because they do such they a good job. They do such a good job. They're all volunteers. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. They do amazing work. <laughs> so now we're just going to continue up along this road. We're going to head up to the Cool Mine Homestead, check that out, and, and head to the Blue Waterholes Campground, which is where we'll spend tonight, but um, not really sure. We might just park there and go do. We've got about a five hour walk we're going to do, which yeah. is Clark Gorge. Find some caves. <laughs> yeah. So we'll either leave the car and go do that, or we might set up camp and then go do that. Yeah. We'll just, these two camps are very close together, <laughs> yeah. but for the whole point, you know, we want time to be able to go do these hikes and exactly. explore out here a bit, so yeah. it'll be nice. Yeah. We're currently out at Cooler Mine Homestead. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. It's awesome. <laughs> it's literally like a little village like complex pretty much. There's what, two houses, a cheese room. Two outhouses. Yeah. Another storage shed. Another shed, <laughs> yeah. It's like Craig's hut on steroids. <laughs> yeah. And just like really well maintained, just preserved and obviously restoration has been done as well, but just looks absolutely gorgeous. So this building here is the cheese hut. It was built in 1889. And basically the intention was to provide lots of insulation to mature and store products such as cheese. Oh my god, they've got the original newspapers on the walls. Which one did you find? 1980? Wait. 1987. So they glued these on to help stop the draft coming through the wood. <laughs> and they're still here. These ones have been preserved. 1934. <laughs> wow. What they say, I think the oldest they found in here was 1880 80, something. 18, 1888, I think. Yeah, something yeah. like that. That's so cool. And they're still in like perfect condition. <laughs> really? It's incredible. So the one that we're in now is Campbell House and it's five rooms and yeah the newspaper was used to line the walls as a form of decoration and insulation and they used horsehair as insulation to line the roof as well. A lot of the walls have got a hard plastic covering the papers so that, to prevent them from getting damaged or anything. This one here is a Southwell house. It was built around 1885 and Parks did restoration on it around 1987. Uh, there's a kitchen that's separate, which we'll go into in a minute, um, which was burnt down in 1919. And then it was replaced with a corrugated iron building, which is here today. And that was used as a garage later on. So this is where the kitchen was. It was the third one on this site because they kept burning down. And that's why they actually built them separate to the houses as well, because it was pretty common back then for the kitchens to burn down. So we believe this is a little water race. It's 
So I basically came from a creek and gravity fed into this little well where they would collect their water from just next to the homestead. So this is the walk we're going to be doing now, Clark's Gorge Walk. There's a few different variations. There's two kilometers return, four kilometers return, seven kilometers return. So we're just going to make it up. Basically, this is our campground tonight. We're going to follow Clark Gorge Walk up to Coleman Falls. There should be some caves along the way and possibly even keep going. But there's a few river crossings and stuff, so see how we go. This is river crossing number one for today. At least there's some stones. We think further on we might have to actually take our boots off and get rather wet, but the first one doesn't look too bad. We'll let Matt go first with the test dummy. All right, it's time for the boots to come off. This is our next river crossing, which we would not make. Well, we would make it in boots, but they would be very wet. So we bring a little hiking towel, gonna take the shoes off and then put them back out on the other side. La. Is it cold? <laughs> made it! <laughs> Just! <laughs> Alright, we made it, but can confirm it was fucking freezing. coming off again and we're gonna leave them off a little bit because I reckon there might be a couple more crossings after this close by. So we've made it through three river crossings without our shoes now. Just gonna leave them off for a bit even though it is kind of probably not ideal because it's probably snake territory but Pretty sure there's gonna be another crossing up here in a minute. Um, so we're gonna have a look around the corner and then if not, the boots can go back on. Doing a bit of off trail up the side of the mountain. So this is the aftermath of me just falling in. Everything's wet. <laughs> I tried to start crossing the river and this like slab of rock is so slippery and like Boots, dropped them in the water, nearly lost them completely. They nearly took it with the current. Luckily, my bag's pretty good and I had all my stuff in a dry sack. But my life straw bottle is just gone. It's gone down the river. So we're pretty scared, but I think we're going to cross it anyway and I'm going to go try and save my life bottle somewhere down the river. <laughs> Alright, so a lot's happened. Quick little update. <laughs> um, after I slipped and fell, I went to go try and find my drink bottle and I did another river crossing, which we believe was the fifth. And then kept going past this little family who was swimming in the river I uh, couldn't see it anywhere I'd been looking like back and forth in between the rocks in case it got stuck and on the way back I asked the family I was like have you seen a blue drink bottle and like no nah, no nah, we haven't and the kids are swimming in there so like they would have seen it if it had gone past so I was like oh maybe it got stuck further up so I started heading back and then I hear all these screams like we found your drink bottle we found <laughs> it <laughs> and so I go running back and um, the mom actually fully jumped in the water and swam out to get it and bring it back to me. What so. a legend. I know, right? So I'm so <laughs> grateful. I couldn't thank her enough. Um, those drink bottles aren't cheap, so <laughs> I didn't really want to buy another one. But, um, and yeah, glad I wasn't glittering in the river either. So, yeah, can't believe I got it back. <laughs> anyway, but she's like, oh, I've been to the waterfall yet. And we're like, oh, not yet. And she's like, there's only two river, more river crossings and then you're there. And she showed us photos and they're absolutely beautiful. So, um, here we are. We made it. We got here so after I've seven river crossings. We're now it going was... back with our boots on. We've just decided to stuff it. Because we weren't wearing shoes and it's just, it's too hard on the feet and it's too slippery. And then the last one, because my, my boots are soaked anyway, I was like, oh, I'll just leave them on and just try it. And it's a lot easier because you don't, you grip way more and you just don't have the pain of the rocks like digging into your feet. So, so bring old shoes yeah. and just wear them. <laughs> a lot of people are wearing like the um, hiking sandals, which we should probably invest in one day. Um, yeah. And one other, a couple other guys said recommend using like big sticks, like find a stick on the side of the, ro uh, side of the river and use that to stabilize yourself when crossing. So we'll try and find 
one of them too. Um, but yeah, it's been quite the adventure. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful waterfall. Definitely yeah. worth it once you go to get here. It's amazing. Sort of stick to it and get there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what's the time, do you know? Uh, three o'clock. It's taking us three hours to get, it yeah. was 12, wasn't it? Pretty much. About three hours to get down here, which they said it's about five returns, so probably about right. Looking forward to tomorrow's yeah. hike now and see some caves out here too. Yeah, we've seen a few along the way in the limestone along the gorge, but um, tomorrow's apparently you can actually like walk into and stuff, so that should be pretty cool. We're very excited. We're going to yeah. go do another seven crossings and get some dinner going. <laughs> How much better is it, Matt? <laughs> so much. So much better with boots on. So we made it back here with our wet boots and socks. So we're about to go put them out in the sun. It is 10 past four, so it took us just over an hour to get back compared to three hours. So wearing the boots through was much easier. Highly recommend. And freshly cooked dinner tonight. We've got chicken Kievs again. We had two left over from the other night. Corn on a cob again, because we absolutely love it with butter and salt, yum and just some broccoli and carrot and potato. We kind of did um, like more like wedges tonight rather than like thin chips. We've got a pretty beautiful view and it's a very quiet campsite tonight. Good evening guys, we just finished up dinner. It was delicious. It was very nice. Yeah, <laughs> once again, seemed to always be cooking pretty good meals on the web around that. And then we've just been playing. Ah! Ooh, here you go. You know, I classic. Three. Three, two. Oh, sorry. It was close. I let him win. So we had an epic time doing the walk today. It was definitely out of both our comfort zones. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> We've never really done like river crossing or anything. Not where you had to take shoes off or like there wasn't stepping stones sort of thing to get across. So yeah. something new for both of us. We learned a lot. Yeah, it's something a bit different. <laughs> learned we should probably buy some sandals if we're going to be doing this more often. <laughs> or like some sort of wet shoe. Yeah. But anyway, it was amazing that we actually got to the waterfall in the end. Yeah, it was so worthwhile. Yeah, like it was seven river crossings, so technically 14, so you get seven each way. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so it's glad, a lot. glad we made it. Yeah. It was funny though, like three hours getting there, like taking our time, going so slow and stuff, and then coming back was just over an hour. Like <laughs> so we left our bricks on the whole time through the river and just mished it back, I don't now know. Now they've been sitting in the sun for like, I don't know, about three hours. Still very wet. And it's still smoking. <laughs> it's like you could wring them out. But I reckon like a day of maybe two, and that'll be fine. So we're in old shoes tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> We've been out in the old in hiking boots I am. Runners, doing another gorge walk, so we'll see how that goes. But there shouldn't be any river crossings. Like it's just, I think there is some, but there's bridges. Um, and then. Yeah. <laughs> there better you will be. see tomorrow. I don't have boots. <laughs> <laughs> but it'd be pretty cool to see the caves. Um, it'd be pretty scary, I reckon, because obviously it's just your own light and stuff, and you don't know what's in there. So. It'd be pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Um, but yeah, pretty excited for that. And yeah, very quiet campsite tonight. It's really nice, apart from that one car that's pulled in. <laughs> in like the last six hours. <laughs> no one's come at all in now, as soon as we start filming. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's very good. We had an early dinner, so we're just gonna play some more games. and Put a shopping list together. Yeah, chill out and sort of our photos and everything. So yeah. Be a nice relaxing hour though. Yeah, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.